Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to read a fable, and this fable is called The Wind and the Sun. I know you don't have your packets yet. You're picking them up on Wednesday, and once you do, you'll be able to complete this page. So let's get started with our predictions. Hmm, I predict, what do you predict the story will be about? Do you notice some of these text features? Title, looks like the wind is acting like a person. Oh yeah, that's personification. Hmm. I wonder what other things we can notice as we read. So here we go. The Wind and the Sun. Retold by Brenda Parks. Illustrated by Joanna Chernachowska. What lesson will sun teach wind? The Wind and the Sun. Retold by Brenda Parks. Illustrated by Joanna Chernachowska. One day, the wind and the sun were arguing about who was the strongest. Look at me, boasted the wind. I can blow clouds across the sky. I can toss cars and houses high. I can blow windmills round and round. I can blow trees out of the ground. That's nothing, replied the sun. My heat is the strongest by far. My heat can melt ice. My heat can melt tar. My heat can dry rivers. My heat can dry land. Watch me melt the ice cream in these children's hands. Back and forth argued wind and sun. Then they noticed a traveler walking down the road. I have an idea, said wind. Whichever of us can make the traveler take off his cloak shall be recognized as the strongest. I will go first. Sun agreed and hid behind a cloud to watch. Wind began to blow little gusts. The traveler wrapped his cloak tightly across himself. Harder and harder the wind blew. Whoosh! 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 The traveler wrapped his cloak more tightly across himself. The wind blew harder still. The harder the wind blew, the more tightly the traveler wrapped his cloak around himself. Whoosh! 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 Finally, the wind gave up in despair. The sun came out from behind the cloud. First, it began to shine lightly on the traveler. The traveler turned his face to the sun. Then he smiled as he enjoyed the warmth. The sun shone more strongly. The traveler mopped his brow. Stronger and stronger and stronger the sun shone. The traveler opened his cloak. Still, the sun shone stronger and stronger. The traveler grew hotter and hotter and hotter. After a few more steps, the traveler loosened his cloak. Then he tore off his cloak and dropped it on the road. You win, said Wind. I am sorry I was so boastful. 